Chris Delton, founder and president of Empowered Achievers. Chris is here to discuss how you can take ownership and develop a career that's fulfilling and in alignment with your skills and capabilities. Hey! Hi. Oh my gosh, careers are such an important topic and it's something really important to me because I've had so many career downsides <laughs> yep. that I really wish I had a mentor like you to have you know, been there to support. So congrats on being Thank that you. for people. Thank you. Yeah, it's something I'm, I'm super passionate about because of the same reason. I've kind of yeah. been, I've had great jobs and I've had not so great jobs that I really dreaded going to on Monday. And I think that's been you know, so much of a, a big factor as to why I do what I do now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So tell me a little bit about how you got started in this, and then I'd love to hear some tips. Certainly. Yeah. So um, Empowered Achievers is, is my business where I help high-achieving women develop fulfilling careers that they love. And the way that I got started in it was I originally came from the ad world, the ad digital advertising industry. Yeah. Crazy world. It is a very <laughs> crazy world, and there's not a lot of women. And it's, um, you know, I was last the media supervisor on Google's account, which is a big account, yeah. huge upwards trajectory in my career. It was great, but I didn't really feel fulfilled. Yeah. And that's, I think, tends to be the client I work for is those people who are really driven to do great work because that's who they are as a person. Mm -hmm. And then one day they look up and say, I'm not happy and I don't know if it's the way in which I'm working uh -huh. or the work that I'm doing, the yeah. what or the why. Um, and so that's, yeah, that's how I got into this business because I had went through that same process myself mm -hmm. and really now work with women who I think often will wait for other people to have great careers and say, oh, but I, I don't, oh, I don't deserve that for myself. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you just mentioned a really big, um, you know, one of the biggest, one of the big challenges I feel like is that feeling of, do I deserve this? You know, should I? Yep. You know, is, is this just where I belong? So how do people overcome those types of feelings? What are your um, top tips for helping people to feel like they deserve that yeah. next step yeah. before they even start working towards it? Well, so I think the first step is just identifying it. If you can even register that that's what's happening, that's, that's the biggest thing. Uh, I think unconscious bias is something that I've talked a lot about with women in terms of you realize with no malice at all, but you realize that you might be judged a little harsher for certain things. And so mm -hmm. because of that, you want to make sure you're there the extra hour and that mm -hmm. someone sees you working. You want to make sure that you respond to an email as soon as it happens. And the reality is a lot of that thing is yourself, right? Yeah. There's, I have worked, you know, when I was at my last agency, I was working um, hours and one day I realized I work a lot with the New York team. What if I maybe pose to my manager I want to work seven to four instead mm -hmm. of eight to five because that works better with my schedule. And I was super nervous to have that conversation. Right. But once I did, it the happened. world didn't fall down. And uh -huh. I think that's that's knowing why why you're feeling the way you're feeling, mm -hmm. but also realizing I think for women in terms of a practical tip, figure out what you're okay with and what you're not okay with. Figure out if your issue is with the way in which you are working. So right. poor communication, poor boundaries with work life you know, blending or whatever that might be. And and whether it's that or it's the content of, I just don't feel inspired by my work. Mm -hmm. And then once you've actually done all those things, start asking. Because I had an old manager who used to say, you know, humans are meaning making machines. And if we don't know the meaning of something, we implant, uh, put in bad meaning. Right. So that's why when you get a text that says we need to talk, you're like, I'm fired. Yeah. I'm broken <laughs> up with the all of these things. <laughs> and because of that, you just need to get multiple positive yeah. experiences, asking for what you need and yeah. ripping the bandaid and saying, okay, the world didn't fall down around me. Right. So that's, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. One of the things you mentioned um, early on in your response was people who kind of overdo things because you feel like you need to do that to earn your way. Mm -hmm. And the thing that cut that out for me like completely was when I accidentally saw the, um, like there was a spreadsheet that was accidentally sent to me that had everybody's salaries on it. Yeah. And that was transformational in a lot of ways. Yeah. Most of all, figuring out that I was really underpaid. But I realized, you know, people that were, um, I had thought that I needed to work so hard um, to earn my way mm -hmm. and to, mm -hmm. you know, to earn my way to a raise and to earn my, you know, keep at this business. And then I was looking at what people make and part of me feels silly for having looked at that so hard, but I was looking at what people make and, you know, thinking about, well, this person provides about this much content. Like I, my job was mostly creating content all the mm -hmm. time. Like this person does about this many articles. And I would ask people, 
and I say, how many articles do you think you write in a week? Then I'm like, but I write twice as many and I get paid mm -hmm. $20,000 less. So I realize I don't need to work this much mm -hmm. for my keep. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm earning my keep just fine. I kept giving myself pressure thinking I need to do yeah. more, 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 but no, I just need to respect myself more. Yep. And then even know where those boundaries need to be. Yep. Yeah, it's when you have a chip on your shoulder, you always have something to prove. And yeah. so when you feel like you know it might be a little tougher for you, you always want to prove that. And mm -hmm. and that's exactly how it happens is is that's how I think bias comes into play. Yeah. Yeah. So what are your top tips for women to thrive and succeed in their careers? Yeah, so I think just going back to figuring out what you're okay with, uh -huh. I think actually setting time to reflect on it, it's often hard to see the forest beyond the trees. So yeah. people are so busy doing the actual work, mm -hmm. but they don't spend time to say what's been going well, what's not been going well. Yeah. And ultimately a good manager should be drawing that out of you. But I think in a lot of ways too, with how how blurred those lines are when you go out of the office and you get all these emails. Mm -hmm. Everyone's busy, including your manager. So if they don't if they don't make the time for that, you need to make the time for it and sit mm -hmm. down. You know, I monthly go through and do uh, the wheel life wheel of life exercise. If you've oh, ever I've, seen that, I've done yeah. that. Yeah. I do it monthly because <laughs> to me, I'm like, okay, it's just a check in with myself to say, yeah, priority am I setting. feeling? I'm totally, you know, maxed out in this one mm -hmm. area and. So once you can start to step outside of it, that's a great way to kind of identify where, where, where you're at and where you wanna go. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Yeah. Thanks. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to share with our audience before we go? Uh, I, think that, I think that's all, but thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for those great tips and for sharing a little bit about your biz. Thanks, Crystal. You might be inspired to go brush up on your resume right about now, but stick around because our next guest has some great tips for increasing the power in your presence.